right, so here he is, the UFC president, Dana White. No shortage of call-outs, as you might expect, since he announced his intentions to compete inside the octagon. And this is really a fighter who brings a lot of different skills to the table. Certainly, he is known as a boxing stylist, very heavy hands, pretty good takedown defense. He is an improving grappler. But I think what jumps off the page for me is the cardio. The stamina for Dana White has been there thus far. It figures to be tested in this matchup here tonight. This guy is a boxer. Look for him to utilize a technical jab and a devastating right hand left hook combination to try to get the victory with boxing skill. So you know what this fighter can do offensively, but defensively, I'll be surprised if he gets put on his back tonight. The takedown defense really jumps off the film. Great balance, a solid base, as quick a sprawl as anybody in this division. And a lot of fighters offensively waste a lot of energy trying to bring this fighter down. May want to try to beat him on the feet, because if you're going to employ the takedown, more often than not, this guy will sprawl and stuff your shot. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen inside the octagon. His timing and his utilization of underhooks and sprawl are world class. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters, some differences in height and reach as well. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing this fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Dana Clyde. And now introducing the opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, the flag! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the octagon for this one. Let's go, come on! Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! are exchanging huge shots. Good defense there. <laughs> Blocking all the shots coming towards his head. UFC President Dana White gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Gotta find a way to move those feet. Excellent sweep. And he connects there. And he establishes full mount. And he gets reversed. Just over three minutes now to go. Full back hooks. Going for that patented rear naked choke now. Whenever you caught in a rear naked choke, tuck the chin, turn the head towards the choke. Oh, we're getting a finish here. That rear naked choke is getting tighter and tighter. He may have to tap and any second. Is. Stunning. Stunning, and he really made it look easy. Used excellent technique in getting that choke for the victory. Well, yeah, so the work in the gym pays off here tonight as he gets the win by submission. Gorgeous setup on the choke, and I think even better execution down the stretch. Clearly, it was sunk in deep. His opponent had no choice but to tap or take a nap. In this case, he chose to tap out. And here we can see it again. That's a real tight choke here. And here we see it again. 
beautiful submission victory. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Masaki is going to stop for this contest at 2 minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. Well, what a submission win for this oncoming force here tonight. I think he's going to be a problem for a lot of fighters in this division. Tonight, though, is all about the celebration after getting the finish that he so sought. Coming in here tonight, you see how happy his coaches are, his training partners. This is going to be a fun night for this team and one that they have richly deserved.